Okay, we are going to talk about continuous line drawing here. Hopefully third time's the charm because it's the third time I've attempted this video. Little things keep happening like the dog barking or uh, the paper falling off, but we will try it again. Anyways, continuous line drawing. Continuous line drawing is where you put your drawing instrument to the paper and you do not pick it up until you are totally finished. You can stop as you're drawing, but you don't pick it up till you're done. It's a very loose type of drawing and it's not exact. If you were a fan of the perspective videos and you like that very technical drawing, this may not be for you. But again, I encourage people to try all different types of drawing because that's how you grow as an artist. If you don't try different things, then it limits you um, as to what you can create and what kind of jobs you can do. So with continuous line drawing, we're just going to draw the simple piece of pottery here to start with. Now, I pick a start point. I'm going to start back here. And my eyes follow around as I'm drawing. I'm not going to do just a simple outline because that would look very flat. I'm going to get in here and draw some of these edges as well. Okay, so again, starting on that back edge. And sorry, I have to start that one over. Very loose. And the nice thing about it too is if you mess up, nobody cares because contour line drawings are not exact. Um, my high school students loved and hated them just for that reason. They could mess up, and if someone said something, they could say, oh, well, you know, my crazy teacher wouldn't let me lift up the pen when I was drawing and wouldn't let me erase. So that was one excuse you could use. Um, they also liked it, though, because you could make mistakes, and it was no big deal because it was not supposed to be exact. Now, some of them hated it because it was not exact and it was not step by step. Again, I'm, I'm a big fan. I like the looseness of the drawing. And it's actually more of a practice type thing. It's a vehicle to get you to really observe what you're drawing. Like I'm looking at it and realizing this little area here is actually lower than what I drew. So I'm going to change it, which is also called making a restatement. So I've kind of lowered that middle area there. Um, there is some design with a glaze. I'm going to put some of that in. And again, very loose. I'm not trying to make it perfect. I've got a shadow over here. I like that my marker is running out because then I can shade with it. Typically, you just have black or white with this, but I'm going to play around and do some shading. You're going to hear people in the background. Sorry. <laughs> people live here. I've got a child home from college and a husband there. Unfortunately, sound really carries in this house. There we go. And again, I'm having to observe, even though it's a very loose drawing and it might kind of look like a scribble. I am looking at the pattern in it and looking at the highlights and all. I'm going to make that a little darker inside of there. Little shadow coming back here too. Okay. Now again, you might love it, you might hate it, but that is the technique. Okay, so that's just a simple one. Let's go with something that might be a little bit more challenging, I guess. I don't know. I guess it depends on what you like to draw. 
I'm going to tape down my paper on the edge here where you can't see. And I think I'm going to switch out my marker. Give me just a second here. Okay. With this marker, you can see the line a little better. And I'm going to try to make it a little more purposeful and a little less sketchy than the other one. See if that helps you learn a little better. I need to mark the top and the bottom of my screen. The first time that I did the video, I forgot and I did half the drawing down underneath the screen where you couldn't see it. Okay, so let's try this. And again, for some reason, I'm gonna start back on that edge. For some reason, I like that. All right, even that out a little bit. I could actually open it up a little bit too. I can see more of the inside of that. See a little bit of that back edge there. around this here um, takes a little practice okay the first time you do this you may want to throw out what you did and that's okay not all my drawings are perfect by any means and that's okay that's why you practice some people think you have to be talented to draw bottom line you can be really talented but if you don't practice you're not going to get any better it's like sports, it's like music, it's like anything else. Give that a little more of a roundness here, a little roundness there. Um, if it's too intimidating to do something that's symmetrical, like the pottery or a mug, um, try something like a Sharpie. You know, set the Sharpie down on the table and draw that. I would do that for you, but I do not think I have the correct setup for that. Let's see how this goes. I can see most of that up there and then this here. See that little edge there. And make that a little wider there. Kind of lost that area. Round it. There we go. That's looking better. And a nice thing about these videos too, do them at home by yourself. And if you mess up, who cares? You know, you're not going to go hang it on your refrigerator or anything. Unless you really want to. Then that's fine. <laughs> or if you're really proud of it, hang it up too. I have sketchbooks full of drawings where I've screwed up. So that's fine. You have to not be too hard on yourself. Okay, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Maybe a little bit easier than the last one. Okay, and again, continuous line drawing. Let's see. Uh, I did pick up my pen, so maybe I'll try to fit it back where it was. Put the rest here. Put a little shading in. <laughs> Again, you might hear conversations from upstairs. I think my husband's playing with the dogs. Again, a little shadow back here. A fun exercise is to try to do this um, with someone sitting across from you. I will let my students pair up and sit across from each other and draw each other in continuous line. And it is so much fun. They have a good time and a good laugh at that. Okay, so there's continuous line. Um, hopefully that taught you something, maybe give you a little inspiration to try some things. And again, start simple if you feel like it's a little too hard. All right, happy drawing.